What's up, guys? Back, and we achieved a uh, <laughs> achieved. That's my scheme. Achieved 87 overall. Yes, you guys don't know how hard I've been working for this. We picked up Romo. Um, we ended up selling Julio just because we didn't need him, but we have the same old line. Tight end could be an elite, but you know, running back core is nasty. Got Chris Ivory with 96 chug over here too, so that's pretty good. Um, and then defense. We sold Jamie Collins, picked up DeAndre Levy, and we got Haloti Nada for 17k, and DeAndre Levy for 30k, which is also another really good deal. So I'm surprised I hit this goal when I have an 85 overall free safety, which I could upgrade. Now this is going to be my first ever pack I've opened up with coins in my whole entire Man 16 career, and I know it's bad, but I know I'm not going to get anything. But I'm just going to do it for you guys. What if I pull some crazy? I won't. But I'm just doing it for you guys. So 87 overall. Let's get it. We're going to grind back to 7.5k in a minute. But let's go. So let's see what we can get. I'm not going to get anything. I don't care. I'm doing it for you guys. So boom. So we got a 75 take on Austin. I don't know if. Oh, and a, and a Brett Kern. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. I'll take that. We need a new punter anyway. I mean, clearly. How the hell does he. This dude has 82 speed. What the hell? Okay. So yeah. I didn't get anything. I don't care. Tavon Austin, you know what? Let's look at your. Let's look at you. What are you looking like? Okay, 95 speed. You might go for some. I'm hurrying check. But let's go, guys. 87 overall. You don't know how long I've been waiting for that. And man, really shout out to my opponent because I wouldn't be here without him. I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying, like, really, if you didn't pay up, if you were a douchebag, that would have been terrible. But you know, thank you. Now, if you look in the kick return spot, this dude. I'm telling you guys, do this. This dude has 97 speed. I know. Not, 97 speed. <laughs> it's crazy. So, go ahead and pick him up for kickoffs. I'm just kind of updating my team. Updating where I have players and why I have them there. I'm going to sure and show you guys how much this two point. Look. He's 2K for a 97 speed dude. This is the 3K one, but 2K for a 5'8", 97 speed dude with like 92 stamina or something. It's insane. Now, I'm going to hurry and see this. Um, Kayvon Austin goes for anything, okay, he doesn't, but still, I can't, thank you guys so much, if you're watching my video now, thank you anyone who ever wagered who's helped me out, I can't believe it, never thought I'd come here, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, that's just a lineup update, well, no, I'm not done yet, duh, I'm not even done yet, I'm hurrying, um, go through, tell you what is a smart thing to pick up, so, quarterback, Romo, I don't really love Romo, I'm not a huge fan of him, but, you know what, I got to get him back on the team. He's a good quarterback for the price. 25K, you know, any day. He has good stats. He has low speed, lower than Peyton Manning, surprisingly. This two running back court, I can't sell this. But it's okay because I wasn't going to sell him anyway. He plays like a monster. LaDainian Thompson, Dre Archer, pick him up if you don't have him. My receiver court. Now, Odell, you know, that's not someone I really use. But Kelvin Benjamin, he's a great, reliable receiver. Makes crazy one and catches for about 10K at the most. Don't spend more on that. Jeremy Macklin. I got him for 1K, but he's an insane, insane, insane outside possession catch. Like, you hit possession catch on him, and he catches every time. Malcolm Floyd makes the craziest plays. Besides Kelvin, he just gets random one-handed snacks all the time. It's insane. Julian Edelman, I don't use him. Martavis Bryant, he's just another big man. So O-line, you know, they hold their blocks for sure. Like, O-line is the most important thing, I think. Tight end, Travis Kelsey is a really, really solid tight end. He's an 84 overall. With 84 speed, 84 catching, and 81 run block with 89 catching traffic. So he's a great player. Ben Hartstock, he's about 2K with 91 run block and only 76 strength. Let me hear you look at his impact blocking, but yeah, he's insane. Okay, so where's his impact? Six kick return, that's pretty, that's pretty beast. 92 impact blocking and 87 run block footwork. Like, he is great. Then Lee Smith also is another really, really good player. He has better strength, release, and stuff, but he also has 87 run block at 6'6". Six six. I'm going to check out his impact blocking for you guys because I don't know off the top of my head. But it is 88, so they're both really solid players. So go ahead and pick those guys up. So that's my offense. Oh, yeah. I can't really throw to my fullback anymore, but even if uh, Levine Toilolo is also another really good run blocking, tall tight end, 80 run block with 79 speed and 6'8". Great player there, too. Now here... I end up getting Carlos Dansby, Brand Marshall. He's solid, solid, solid middle linebacker for about 2,000 coins. He has 82 speed, 93 pursuit, and 88 um, zone with 66 catch. Carlos Dansby's a really good linebacker. I moved Clay Matthews to left outside linebacker, 
and I put DeAndre Levy at right, switched it up a little bit, because DeAndre Levy, I got 30k, crazy, that's a great price in my opinion, 83 speed, 95 play right, 96 pursuit, 96 tackle, and 86 acceleration, that tackle, man, that'll make sure that Aaron Foster doesn't break out those big runs, but 97 awareness, 75 catching, 96 tackle, like I mentioned, decent jumping, and decent, like, you know, stats like that, only 77 zone, but he makes plays, guys. Like, he's insane. I'd pick him up. Free safety, I don't know how I'm an 87 overall with the 85 free safety. I was going to get the 92 Clover Quinn, but that's another 60K that I don't have to worry about, so I'll pick that up later. I pers Here, I personally prefer George Loca. He's just a little quicker with a little better zone, but still Dante Whitner's a solid player for his price, so I could pick him up. These two players down here, 92 hit power, 6'1", oh, 89 speed, and 90 zone and 90 hit power those are good golds just a you know keys a keep to lead i picked him up with coins also he's the best cornerback i swear he stops any aggressive catching it's frame of six foot one with 86 man 92 zone 94 press 83 play work and 81 catch with a decent excel and agility or wait is that agility yeah agility he just he gets everything he's insane and 94 jump like he stops calvin johnson easily any day and also, um, his stamina, I'm pretty sure, is pretty good because stamina is something important for a cornerback. His stamina is a 94, which is good for a cornerback at this stage. Now, Desmond Trufant's a little quicker, makes more plays underneath, but he still is a great cornerback. I'd personally pick Aqib Tlaib over him any day, though. Cornerback Casey Hayward makes a ton of plays. I'm surprised, but he really does. He's a cheap player. Go pick him up. 87 speed, 93 zone, and 81 catch. It's insane. Sheldon Richardson and Michael Bennett, not the best ends, but they do what I need them to. They both play the exact same with their play style. If you see here, they both um, have power move and a decent speed with decent excel and tackle and block shed and all that fun stuff, but they're both great ends. for. I got them both actually for free. I used to have an 87 right end, but I sold him because I got this one. So then Haloti Nada, he's like 20K, guys. I thought that I sniped him. I got him for 17, like 25 guys he's an 87 defense tackle 95 strength decent decent that again decent power move good block shed good pursue and good play rec so my team let me see what his tackle is um his tackle is really important to me 91 tackle okay that's that's good for defense tackle so i have some better tacklers so i won't be missing those freaking arian foster runs and Le'Veon bell runs but got that new punter out of that pack now i set up these guys because they have decent decent like speed and stuff but Really, they're not, like, the best blockers, and so, you know, I just put them there just to put them there, but, yeah, that's basically the team. I have LaDainian Tomlinson instead of Le'Veon Bell at third down back just because I'd want, you know, I just want more kind of variety, you know. He has 84 catching. That's good. I'm hurrying. I just barely actually upgrade my team and everything. Uh, let me hurry and go to my head-to-head -head thing. I'll be playing a game to show you guys after this video, but... Let me see if it says 87, 87, because I know that you have to be an 87, 87, but I'm just wondering if I'm like an 88. I know I'm not, but I'm just going to check. So, wow, I'm an 86 defense and an 87 offense. Wow, that's crazy. All right, cool. So, I can still upgrade my defense by getting a new defensive ends. Cornerbacks are fine, in my opinion, and safeties. Linebackers are what made me, I guess. So, my free safety I'll upgrade next. Then it'll be my strong safety, and then it'll be my ends. So I'm planning on getting 92 Glover Quinn, 88 Rashad Jones. So a 20K, 60K, and then about psh, these guys, I, you know, like that'll be that. So basically, you get the point, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Just a quick little, like, update, but yeah, I'll be uploading more. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.